welcome back to another video and we're gonna finally do the cover of this Halloween mini album so I had done um, something different but it didn't work out like I planned so this is going to be my cover right here this owl it's a Martha Stewart paper from a couple of years ago and I cut a piece of this fabric it's like a faux type leather yeah, so I did that, um, and that's going to go on the binding, and then this will go on the back. This will just, just be plain on the back, and I got some of these pumpkins here that I'm going to use. These are old. I've had them for a long time. I've got a doily I'm going to trim off and put at, in the front. I've got some flowers that I that were white that I glittered up. Um, and yep, yeah, that one, and oops, you don't need to see the back, there's the front, use a different camera, so my old JVC is not compatible with Windows 8, so that really sucks, but I'm going to be using these black eyelets, and this is going to be my closure, I thought that I would do something kind of cool and creepy, so I got this, oops, this chain there we go and yeah so that's going to be my closure and I got these at the hardware store a long time ago so um, they have them like at almost every hardware store so yeah you can just buy these and I'm gonna put a little lock on there so it's like a creepy graveyard type thing and then um, I have quite a few resin pieces that I've done over time. Um, uh, razor blades and a creepy hand. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this just needs to be trimmed up. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but I've got like, um, this is from the Martha Stewart mold. I just made some creepy resin pieces. This is going to go on the front and maybe this i don't know because i don't know how well i can get that to glue down i've got some bats some bats can you see that is that focusing it's supposed to so all right then i've got this skull thing i don't know if i'm going to use that but i've got a bunch of different um things this is going to go for sure it's a creepy resin spider because you can't have creepy without a spider well I'm guessing I don't really yeah so it's funny that I made an album like this because well yeah I don't I don't even like scary movies but I love Halloween so and like I don't consider like the Halloween movies scary because they're not at all so I'm probably going to do some black and red roses um, I've got black hair I've got some that I um, yeah that I did gold paint on top of and then some that are just um, just black and then I'll probably add a couple of the red roses and just do a couple of red like that. Let me turn this down a little bit. See if that helps. Maybe you can see a little better now. There we go. I think. Well, so that's just some of the things we're going to put on there. I'm just going to put stuff wherever. I have this owl. I wanted to use it, but with the owl on the front, I, I don't know. And that might be a little overkill, so I probably won't end up using that. Um, and then I've got this little resin piece. Um, I have this too that I might stick on. We'll see. But yeah, so that's what we got. So we're going to go ahead and get started putting all this stuff down where it's going to go, etc, etc, etc. Um, Alright, so, 
Let me get out the monstrosity here. Alright. So, here's our book. Oops, zoom out so you can see it. There we go. Alright, so, and I'm going to put some... Ooh, that's a little... That's longer than I thought. I hate measuring with different rulers because it throws the whole thing off. So, I like this piece of leather. Pleather, I should say. Um, where's the... Looking for my ruler because every time I turn around, I've misplaced it. So, I'm going to measure this out. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's heavy. Um, let me just measure this out. It is... Um... Okay. Huh. Hmm, hmm. Supposed to be 11 and a half, so... This is thin enough. I can trim it with my paper trimmer. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um... Let me see here. Here's my Tim Holtz ruler. It's supposed to be, I believe, 11 and a half inches. Mm. Alright, let's check this out. It is about 11 and three quarters, but we're going to go about 11 and five eighths is what I'm going to do, just to be on the safe side. All right, let's go. Okay, let's get this here. I'm gonna go 11. I'm gonna cut this side. Okay, 11 and 5 eighths. Right there. All right, we'll go right there. All right, make sure I hold this in place. And did it split? Yep, it did. There we go. Now it should fit perfectly. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. Make sure it fits. And it surely does. It fits perfectly. So we love it. We love it. All right. There we go. So that's going to go on, and the way I'm going to do it is, um, let me think. I think I'm going to do that, make sure this is still plugged in, and it is. All right, I'm going to use my glue gun to put the fabric piece on, and then, let me think here, yeah, all right. Going to put this down. Let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna trim it out a little tiny bit more off. Just a little itty bitsy bit. Just to give us. a little bit more just to just so it lines up a little better so let me grab my scissors these are my fussy cutters okay all my fabric scissors are downstairs um, this should work as long as I can get close on it all right there we go. All right. Okay. So I just used this Fiskars little guillotine type trimmer. All right. So let's see here. Okay. I think we're good on this. All right. I'm going to grab some ribbon real quick because there's going to be a seam there that we're going to need to cover up. So let's do this. Should have grabbed it before we started.
here's the trim that I'm using. It's I got this at Hobby Lobby when it was 50% off. So uh, let's see where we're at. All right, tuck it in at. I always rip all my ribbon off the spool. Then I keep it in Ziploc bags. So this will go on top of the fabric just like that. And then I'll probably put some bling down the center of this. All right. So let's get gluing. Okay. Going to finally remove this adhesive. I can't believe this is finally actually going to get done. I'm not the best at decorating covers, but I think I do all right. And I just got to pick a paper to put on the inside, which I already have. I'll show that to you when we get there. Okay, and there's one. Sorry, I'm trying to get this. Off. This red sticky tape is good stuff. It's on the expensive side, but it works really good. Nothing's moving if you put it down with this. I can tell you that right now. Okay. Let's put this in the trash. Okay. So now we're going to... Um, yeah. Alright. Do I have a piece down here? I do have a piece down here, too. Alright. Alright. Whatever you do, if you use the red sticky tape, keep it away from your paper. If it sticks there, you're going to have a big mess. You will not be happy with it. And I certainly will not. And then you can just lay that down. That, and then this is the seam that I'm going off of for this. Alright, so I'm going to put a piece of wax paper here just so I don't have any unexpected situations, which I can tell you right now I would. Just taking all this red off. Got a couple more mini albums I'm thinking of doing. I need to make um, my oldest daughter that just got married a wedding album. I just haven't got a chance to do it. I've been doing, I thought her mom was doing it, but then her mom did a uh, more of a childhood uh, scrapbook, so I didn't end up doing it. And I was like, oh. And she's like, oh, are you going to make me an album? She's the one I made the Tinkerbell album for. It, if you look, you want to see that, you can search through my channel. It's on there. That one came out really cute. I liked it. I had a lot of people that wanted to get it. I have sold a couple of my mini albums. Um, and people are always asking me to make mini albums. I just, I'm not good at making, I, I overstress out, I think. Oh, let me zoom out. Oops. trying to get everything in frame with this new camera. I've got to get a new camera. I'm thinking about getting a GoPro. I heard those are really good, but we'll see. I don't know. All right, so this is our line we're going by. That's an inch and a half. So I'm going to go with that um, and just put, it's not going to matter because um, we're going to put the ribbon on top so you won't see the seam at all. So you can do it however you want to do it, but I'm going to use some some of this here whatever you call this glue gun glue I'm not that good with the glue gun I haven't been using it that long
be hearing noise it's from downstairs. The kids are up there all around, so. And they love to get the dogs going, so. All right, so let's get this down. I think I'm going to need another glue stick. Good thing I bought a big bag of them. Okay. Hurry, this glue dries really fast. Like I said, it doesn't matter if it's not stuck down perfectly because we are there we go. Alright. Now let this help anchor us some. flip this over and there we go for that side got some on my nail okay uh, all right now let's flip this around and this side I'm not worried I'm not too worried about if it's one and a half whoa very sorry I'm not worried if it's one and a half inches or not. So, all right, let's get this, get this down. There, all right. Okay, we're done with the glue gun. Thank goodness, thank goodness. All right, I'm going to unplug that. Okay, let's see what we got here. Now we're going to stick our paper down. I have, this is what I'm using. We've already inked the edges. This is gonna end up being more than one video. So, all right, so let's get this stuck down. I'm just going to use my ATG gun. All right, this one. Trying to stay in frame here and be generous with your adhesive on this because you really want it to stick. Alright, 
So now we're going to stick this down. Okay. Wonder. Oh, that's not going to work now. So that's all right. Just go right here. I love this owl. Okay. There we go. Look at that. My book finally has a cover. All right. Flip this around. We can do the same thing to the back side. And then we're going to stop there. And then I will have another video on the decorating. So let's just get this down real quick. Okay. All right. Okay. And then we're going to get all our edges really good. Okay. should do it. Alright. And then if you have any little extras there. Okay. And then we're going to let's get that out of the way. Okay. Um, and then we're going to put this and put it down. Just like that. Alright. Alright, so this is what we've got so far. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to use the crocodile poke a hole here for our closure. Um, I'm still thinking if I'm going to do a charm because this actually covered up the hole, but we'll see um, how that goes. So I will see you in the next video.